So excitingly, and I'm a little bit behind on the news because I've been so busy lately, but we're getting a new Godzilla film, the fifth installment of the MonsterVerse titled Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, is coming out in 2024. And I have to say, like, the title sounds super exciting. It immediately drew me in, especially considering over the past year we've heard that the sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong would be simply Godzilla and Kong as a title, which obviously is not very interesting. But I'm, I'm very intrigued that they chose to use Godzilla X Kong because we know that it, prior Godzilla films have used that quite a bit to suggest a replacement for the word for versus. Also, it can be construed as being like a replacement for the word and. So Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. So like, obviously the title already implies that Godzilla and Kong are going to be joining forces against some sort of other creature, right? So I watched the teaser trailer, which is very, very short. It's really hard to kind of like get anything concrete out of it. But in this teaser, we kind of get teased with the potential new villain that Godzilla and Kong will be facing, which is another primate-looking creature. Very lanky-looking, kind of scary, honestly, but very much different-looking than Kong. So, like, I'm intrigued, cautiously optimistic, mostly because I was hoping that we would get another classic kaiju. However, you know, for all we know, this could be one of many opponents they battle, or this opponent could turn out to be one of the most interesting villains ever. Don't know. However, like, I just feel like the MonsterVerse has done so well at kind of, like, expanding its universe, especially the film Godzilla King of the Monsters. I know a lot of people have been really wanting to see, like, Destroya because they use the Oxygen Destroyer as a weapon of mass destruction in Godzilla King of the Monsters. I was kind of leaning toward that myself. I was hoping that we would get to see Destroya or Biollante, you know, some, one of those two for me. Um, and I'm not sure if we're going to get that. I know it would cost legendary money to, you know, purchase rights to the character, etc. And maybe they just, maybe they're not going to go in that direction. Nevertheless, I was hoping that we would get something a little bit more interesting than another primate. Mostly because I'm kind of like getting a little exhausted with, especially Godzilla films, like, forcing Godzilla to face off against some sort of other variant or some other creature that's similar to him. Um, and we just got that with Godzilla versus Kong, like, them battling Mechagodzilla. Like, I just think that it isn't the direction I thought they would go in with them battling some sort of other primate creature. Um, then again, like, I could be reading into reading into absolutely nothing because like this is just a teaser. It could be literally anything. However, I do want to share with you the synopsis that I've seen shared around because obviously if we can't get really anything from a teaser, go to a synopsis. So the synopsis says, the new installment of the MonsterVerse puts the mighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal deadly threat hidden within our world that threatens the existence of their species and our very own, as well as diving deep into the myster mysteries of Skull Island and beyond, delving straight into the origins of Hollow Earth, this film will explore the ancient titan battle that brought man and monster together forever. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by that because obviously... Godzilla vs. Kong especially, illustrated for us that, you know, well, and King of the Monsters, both illustrated for us that, like, there were, you know, this ancient rivalry, etc. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, it's sounding very similar to me to Godzilla vs. Kong this far, so I'm hoping that the more we get to see as we get closer to 2024, that there will be surefire signs that distinguish this film from that film. Now, my wants and desires. I want to see Mothra again. If they're going to explore the Hollow Earth and, like, the, you know, ancient Titan rivalry, well, Godzilla King of the Monsters established that Mothra and Godzilla have a symbiotic relationship. How did that happen? Godzilla vs. Kong hinted at the existence of another Mothra. Where is she? So, I'm hoping that my queen will be back for this film. We'll have to see. I don't know. Anyway, share your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Click like, subscribe to my channel. I will be sharing more information about this film and more commentary about it the more I learn. So thank you all for listening. Have a good rest of your night and talk to you soon. Bye.